Hey guys, Omar Riyad here, an Ableton 9 certified trainer. Just wanted to show you a quick preview of what I have going on at the moment. I'm currently using in my live setup the Apollo 8, which is the original one. Uh, now there's the Apollo or the A16, uh, which is a wicked product to check out. Usually, this particular um, interface is controlled via the actual hardware. There's also a software application on this console that you can use to actually digitally control your mix and it basically acts like a mixing board. The only downside um, that I've had is currently it's not assignable or MIDI mappable to a controller or other device. So if you have some sort of piece of hardware and you want to actually move faders physically, uh, this one's still laid out by point and click of the mouse. I have a little workaround for this one and this is basically a touch screen. Uh, it's the KS1974 which is designed by a company called Smith & Martin. Uh, to use in continuity with their application known as emulator. As well, what we're using this for right now is basically I can use this to actually control any of my fader movements. And also, I can also add solos. I can also do mutes on particular tracks. I can also move this left, right, and control rotaries. You can also control your master volume. Turn off mute if you'd like. Sorry, I'm looking at this through a camera, so it's kind of tough. There we go crank that up, bring that all the way back. It's a little bit of a workaround, but uh, it's really cool. It's actually kind of nice to have a miniature version of a mixing console in front of me, so if I need to just do some level adjustments really quickly, it actually makes it a lot faster. So um, thanks for taking a look, and uh, yeah.